Hey friends, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a natural light spilling in from a window that isn't there. Let's get into it. actually gonna make today I know it looks like shit, but it's not about how it looks it's about the results that you can get from this okay so just bear with me this will all make sense in just a minute okay so in previous videos we talked about how texture can really help spice up your photography for example this tabletop that I'm sitting at is rugged and rustic and it's the backdrop that I use for a lot of my product photography shots and you can also add texture in post but what if we thought about light as a texture for example here's a before and after so this picture is pretty bland there's not much happening here it's just a simple scene but what if we add light as a texture to this image it's going to give it another dimension this technique is called gobo lighting which I think stands for go between or go before which is essentially when you put a cardboard cutout in front of your light source, thus casting a shadow of whatever that pattern is on your subject. Now, of course, you can buy designer cutouts online, but if you know anything about me in this channel, we're gonna make our own. It's really simple to do. There are a couple of things that you need before you can start. Number one, a softbox. I got this softbox from Bulldog Liquidator. It costs like $20. You're also gonna need a flash. I have this Young New, Young Newer, Newer, Young No, I'm sorry, I'm butchering this Chinese word. I didn't find a pronunciation online, but I did find a translation. It translates as forever promise in English. So I put this flash inside my softbox and I used a trigger to trigger the flash from my camera. Everything you need to pull this off is going to be linked in the description box below. Next up, I got my hands on some cardboard from my local liquor store and I measured out the diameter of my softbox, which was 23 inches by 23 inches. And then I drew a rough pattern of a window that I wanted to cut out. Now, I just roughly sketched out this window because honestly, some miscalculations will probably make the shadows look a little cooler anyway. I actually did two cutouts. The first one was too big. So if you're working on a small surface area like I am for this shoot, you're gonna wanna make your window or whatever pattern you're cutting out of your cardboard, make it small so when it casts those shadows, you get everything on top of your object. The bigger the cutout you use means the bigger the shadows that are gonna be cast. And that doesn't always work, especially if you're working on a small surface area. So when the cutout was completed, I simply taped it to the front of my softbox. And as I said, yes, I know this looks terrible, but it's the results that matter, okay? Now I should mention, you can use a constant light source if you want, but I do highly recommend using a flash like this one. It's essentially gonna give you more control over dialing in the power of the light that you want to use. Okay, I gotta get out of here. It is a billion degrees in here. So if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in another one very soon. Peace. Oh my God, I'm sweating.